Hello, everyone. Welcome to the College of Sciences at Old Dominion University. My name is Cynthia Maca, and I am one of the advisors for the College of Sciences. Today, we're going to go over a small presentation. Um, we're going to go over the academic advising, additional advising, your academic requirements, as well as registering for your classes. The College of Sciences has an advising team consisting of four advisors. I work with students' last names A through E. Mr. Keith Krapko works with students' last names F through L. Ms. Carrie Music works with students' last names M through S. And our director of advising, Mr. Ronaldo Rando, works with students' last names T through Z. All four of us work with intended psychology students as well as biology. If you are a pre-health student, that means you want to go to medical school, osteopathic school, dental school, optometry school, veterinarian school, pharmacy school, or physician assistant. We work with you as pre-health advising, and we work with you with your application process, your personal statements, mock interviews that you wish to do, as well as many other things to help you get into these professional programs. We do suggest that you attend a pre-health orientation session your first semester at ODU. The College of Sciences also has other departments. Each department has a chief departmental advisor. For mathematics and statistics is Mr. Robert Strozak. For ocean, earth, and atmospheric sciences is Dr. David Burdage. Their information is on the profile so that you can get their information. For chemistry and biochemistry is Dr. Pinky McCoy. For computer science is Ms. Janet Brunell. For physics is Dr. Stephen Bultman. And for declared psychology students is Ms. Jennifer Muth and Suzanne Morrow. Again, their information is there for you to see. For additional advising, we have the Career Development Services offices located in the Web Center right above Starbucks. Each college also has a liaison. Our liaison is Ms. Summer Steelman, and she's also located in the Mills Godwin building right next to us. She works to help you find your career exploration, resume reviews, internships, mock interviews for employment, and also helps with job search assistance. If you need anything related to your career development, um, please feel free to contact her. Her information is also here. We also have the Monarch Teach program which will help you earn your teaching license for your degree. If you are in the majors of biology, chemistry and biochemistry, ocean, earth, atmospheric sciences, mathematics, statistics, and physics, you can earn your license to teach. If you are curious and want to get more information about it, you can contact Dr. Christina Steele at csteele at odu.edu, and she's also in the Mills Godwin building. Now your path to graduate. So you need to complete certain requirements in order to graduate. You have to complete all your lower division journals, as well as your major requirements and your upper division requirements. So in order for you to receive your bachelor's of science, you need to earn a minimum of 120 credit hours. You have to maintain a 2.0 GPA or higher for your major and your minor. And if you're in Monarch Teach, you have to have a 2.75. For your university writing requirements, you have to complete your both English composition courses as well as your writing intensive course. That's an upper division writing course for your major. You also have to complete your residency requirements, which include of 12 credits of your major that are at 300 or 400 level. And then you must earn a minimum of 30 credits in total at ODU. Evaluating your associate's degree. So if you have earned your associates from a Virginia, Virginia Community College, whether it's an Associates of Arts, Sciences, or Arts and Sciences, your lower division genets will be waived, so you will not have to complete them. However, if you earn your associates from out of state, uh, your requirements for your lower division genets may or may not be satisfied, so it uh, depends on the courses that you took. If you earn an Associates of Applied Sciences, the degree will not satisfy your lower division genetics, which means that you will have to complete them. When you send your transcripts to ODU, you'll see a few options. If you took a Biology 100 level course, it will transfer over to us as a Bio 1 LE, which means it did not fulfill a specific equivalent to a course that ODU offers. If you receive a 1, 
NSCP rec, that means you received credit for a nature of science course as a general education elective. These are all the options that are available as lower division gen eds, from writing requirements to human creativity, literature, human behavior, philosophy, language and culture, mathematics, or nature of science, and impact of technology, and so on. For your upper division gen eds, you have four options. Your option A and B are either completing a double major or a disciplinary or interdisciplinary minor. Minors are typically a minimum of 12 credits at the 300 or 400 level. You also have the option C, which is to earn your teacher licensure. Again, this only works for all the majors in the colleges and sciences except for psychology. And then option D, which is what we re recommend the most to our students, is you can take six credits that are at the 300 or 400 level so long as they're outside of the College of Sciences. So you can take six credits in arts and letters and business, engineering, music, health sciences, whatever you wish to take, so long as it's not in the College of Sciences. Now we're gonna go over degree works. In order for you to find your degree works, you have to log into your portal. Once you log into your portal, you're going to see degree works two places. On the left side, as well as on the top. You'll click on degree works and the top of your degree works will sort of look like this image on the presentation. There are four things that I would like for you to keep in mind when you're looking at your degree works. First of all, your hours. Because you're a transfer student, you will have transfer hours. It depends from zero to, well actually from one to 50, 60 or 80. However many transfer credits you apply to ODU, that will come out under your transfer hours. The second thing are holds. So there are different types of holds that you can get on, on your student account. The only holds that advisors are allowed to remove are AD holds, which are advising holds. In this case, this student has an RG hold, which is a registrar's hold. So I cannot remove that hold. The student will have to contact the registrar's office to find out what that hold means, get that resolved, and the hold will be removed. Third is your degree and your major, which you'll find in the center of your degree works. You'll see the college, College of Sciences, your degree will be a Bachelor's of Science, and your major will depend on what your major is. So from biology to chemistry, psychology, biochemistry, whatever major you are applying as, that's what will come out on your degree works. And then lastly is your campus code, which is on the left side of your degree works. It should say Norfolk Main Campus. And because you're a Norfolk Main Campus student, if you wish to take an online course, it can only be Web 2. Otherwise, you'll get errors. Now, registration. When you log in to your Leo Online and click on registration, it'll take you to Banner XD. And more or less, this is how it'll look when you start searching for a class. So for example, this is Math 103, which is College Algebra with Supplemental Instruction. There are a few courses that are linked courses, which means the only way for you to register for this class is by clicking the View Linked option, choosing that linked course, so whether it's a recitation or any other option, and then clicking Add. So for example, Math 103, Chemistry 121, and CS 121G are linked courses. So in order for you to register for these classes, you will have to click on the View Linked option. Now to register. There are a few things that I do want you to keep in mind. As I mentioned earlier, if you would like to take an online course, the only option you can register for is Web 2. Those courses are specifically made for students that are on Norfolk campus but would like to take online courses. There are other options as well, but those are for other students such as web only students, uh, students outside of Virginia, that are distance learning only, so they get those options. Banner XE has a waitlist option. Please don't use the waitlist option because faculty don't really pay attention to that. If there's a course that you really want to get in, but you can't because it's waitlisted, 
write down the professor's name and email, send them an email as soon as you can and ask them if you can potentially join their course because you need it in order to move on with your major. This tip is very important. The next one, which I'm gonna go over is submitting after every single class. So you're registering for General Bio 121 and N, you register for it. Then you search for the lab, which is 122N. Once you have both classes in your shopping cart, click submit because that's gonna help you actually register and get a seat in the class. If you leave it on your shopping cart, there's a very high chance that you won't be able to get into that class because there are other students that are also trying to get into that bio course. So, so long as you register for that class, hit submit, move on to your next course, move on to your math course or your English course, and then click submit, move on to the next course. So do one by one, just to ensure that you actually get a seat in that course. Next, rate my professor. We all love it. It's very important. It actually helps us, you know, learn about that professor, make sure that we're, we would get along with them. We encourage it just not during the time that you're registering for it. So write down all your professor's names, go back later, search them up, do whatever you need. And if you don't feel comfortable, then go on to Banner XE and switch courses. But for now, just try to register for all the course classes that you need. Next, if you are transferring in courses that you're currently taking right now in the summer and we suggested for you to take it, don't register for it. Let an advisor know so that we can suggest a different course. So for example, if you're taking Intro to Psychology right now in the summer at TCC or any other community college, but we also suggested for you to take it at ODU, don't register for it. Let an advisor know that you're currently taking it somewhere, somewhere else so that we can suggest a different course for you to take. And last, when you look at your degree works on the right hand side, you're going to see in red still needed. That means you still need to take a course from that area. There are different areas in your degree works from major requirements to cognate math requirements to lower division to upper division. So when you're looking in red and you see still needed, make sure you read what it requires. Some courses require for you to take two classes. Some courses require for you to take just one class. So make sure you read one of one required or one of two required or whatever it might say, and you make sure you get that done. So now we're going to prepare for registration. After this presentation, I will put you guys all in breakout rooms. Each major will be with an advisor or your chief departmental advisor. Before you register, please make sure that you have your Midas information and your password ready. This will help us move along with the registration process. Most of you should have already emailed or attached your unofficial transcripts to um, an email to COS Advising, or to your chief departmental advisor. Please make sure that we have your most un recent unofficial transcript so that we help you register for the next courses that you need for your major. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them on the chat so that any of the advisors can respond to you and help answer your questions. And in a few minutes, I will send you in breakout rooms and you'll meet an advisor there. I am happy to have virtually met you all. I hope you enjoyed the brief presentation and you can enjoy some time with your cohort and your advisor. Have a great day.